we're back in Budapest to talk about bridges. Before 1873, Pili Buda and Industrial Pest were two different cities divided by the mighty Danube River. It was in 1849 that they were unified with the first bridge. Before that, the only way to get to Buda or Pest from the other was by boat or by walking across the frozen river. In 1873, Buda and Pest became one city, Budapest, and this city is unified by bridges. Bridges are amazing feats in construction and civil engineering. So, how do they work? There are many different kinds of bridges, but their purpose is the same, to distribute and balance the forces acting on it. So when cars and people exert a downward force with their weight, bridges are designed to push back up and keep the bridge still. The amazing feat in this is that the bridge is not connected to the earth where it pushes up because there is no support directly underneath the bridge. Otherwise, that would just be a road. Different kinds of bridges distribute forces in different ways. There are eight bridges spanning the Danube in Budapest. Let's check out how they distribute forces differently. The oldest bridge is the chain bridge. It is a suspension bridge. Suspension bridges work by using towers to hang the deck from cables. The deck is the part of the bridge you walk on. The anchors, where the bridge is connected to each side of the river, keeps the suspension bridge from collapsing in on itself. The Elizabeth Bridge is also a suspension bridge, but it is much more modern than the chain bridge. This is actually the second Elizabeth Bridge to Budapest. It was built in the 1960s after the first one was destroyed in World War II. North of the chain bridge is Margaret Bridge. Margaret Bridge is an arch style bridge. You can see the arches beneath the deck of the bridge. These arches distribute the downward forces into horizontal forces, distributing the loads at either end of the bridge. I've only covered three of the many bridges of Budapest, and I could spend the rest of the day talking about their construction, design, and history. Having used this bridge every day to get to school, I can definitely say I appreciate the bridge as a feat of construction and engineering. I mean, without it, I'd have to swim to school every day.